my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop, let's start with today's tutorial. And so this Photoshop, I'll click on create new. And then the dimension is more like an A4 sheet. And so I'm going to set here to inches and then I'm going to set here to 8.2. And then over here, I'm going to set it to 11.693. That's the height. And then the resolution over here, I'm going to set it to 300 for maximum quality. I'm going to call it letter head. Okay, I'm going. To, I'm, I'm also going to set here to RGB for now. But when it's time to print it, I'll convert it to CM by key color. Click on create. All right. And then I'll click on view. And then I'll come here to new guard layout. And then over here, I'm going to set it to five. Click over here as well. Set here to five. And then click over here. Set it to 0 0.25. Uh, many, many, many of you guys ask me, why do I set a grid? Sometimes a grid really helps me to really align my document and then also helps me to do some measurement as well. So um, it has various ways of um, doing the work. Okay, so that's it. And then I'll click on OK. Now let's start with the design. Okay, so let's start first with the logo. I'm going to pull this logo, drag it all the way here, and then I'm going to drag it somewhere there. And then I'm going to hold um, Shift, right? So you can see the keys shift and then i'll drag it like that drag it here but let's zoom in so that we can see it okay so you can see it right i want it to be here and then i want this to also be here so you can see no 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 i want it to be here as little like that okay nice so you can see it's on one side Okay. So I'm trying to keep it within that side. All right, let's zoom out. Let's see. Okay, and then let's pick this, and then let's draw a line like that. Something like this is not bad, right? Let's double click it and let's give it this particular color: zero, four, zero, two. And let's give this particular color 0, 4, 0, C, 2, F. Now this is the shade of blue I want us to be using. Duplicate. Should we even duplicate? <laughs> let's wait for now. Alright, so control T. Okay. Um, I want to give it a little scale. Um, skew. Let's use skew. If I duplicate it. Okay. Let's see. Enter. Yeah, I like that. Click on the move to let's drag it somewhere here and then drag it somewhere here i want it to be like that duplicate it and then drag it drag it okay so you can see it over here you can see the edge over here i like it like that drag it quite closer and then double click it let's give it also this color e e eight three zero e all right now these are the colors that the brand is using so these are the colors that i want to use okay now i want this side to come over here so, so i'll select both of them and then i'll drag them here nice. okay now i'll put it in a group let me see i'll call it top bar and then i'll pick um let's say by the line now i'll pick this I'll drag it somewhere here and then I'll right click it and then select inverse and then I'll give it a mask okay so it looks quite great it looks quite great 
um which one is this this one is the logo let's put it in the group let's call it logo okay let's see so what the logo is i love it i think it's great um let's start also with a watermark over here and with that i'm going to change duplicate this logo and i'm going to pull it out of it pull it okay oh, here is it close this one i'm going to drag this one down like that bring the rules and then somewhere here control sh uh, sorry shift and then alt at the same time and then drag this side all right and i think this is great i'm also going to put this in the group and i'll call it water now i'm going to reduce here to 20 percent i want it to be in the background i feel like it's still quite uh pronounced so i'm also going to reduce here to 80 percent and this time it, it, it goes in the nicely okay i'm also going to keep it somewhere here somewhere here it's not bad then we are also going to work on some few details here as well so i'm going to type here but let me zoom in so that you see the details well and then i'm going to pick this number then i'll type there and then open the character let's set it to Montserrat. let's make here bold and then the font size let's use 12.17 nice nice 12.17 the tracking let's make it zero now guys remember the vertical align uh, the vertical scale and then the horizontal scale you're going to keep it 100 100 percent just so that's how i like it okay you can change it but i've only got what i'm getting right now set here to 100 set here to 100 i realize most of most of uh, uh the designers who, who actually do my work get their work distorted because of that particular mistake if it is now let's make this one color black awesome and then let's come here right click it and then let's select ellipse to hold shift and then draw very small ellipse okay let's go to fill set the color black it should stroke is off nice now let's zoom in click on your move to and then hold okay yes you can see photoshop is showing me that it's in the middle you want to keep it in the middle as quick as possible all right hold shift and then drag it this way nice and then duplicate the two of them and then drag them like that okay now let's go here and then let's pick this and then let's paste it here let's bring this one quite close uh, okay equal size you want there to be equal size there as well duplicate this one and then bring it there like that and then go and then pick this one as well double we'll click it and paste it in there now let's see zoom out a little bit okay so let's drag it like this you want it to hit maybe let's drag it somewhere here all right somewhere here is not bad not bad right let's duplicate this one drag it up and then let's pick this and then let's paste it here drag it down like that if i let's go to here and then click here okay click here come back here now we are using monster we are using bold the reason why i kept all of them bold is because it's going to be very small down there and you want it to be quite pronounced for people to also see it if it's very light people are not really going to see it so i make i make it bold but you can also use your preference guys you know so monster and then bold over here and then 12.17 over here um 100 100 percent. remember color black um i'm not going to touch here at all but over here I'm going to set it to 260 okay so 260 i am not i want it to move from here all the way to here so that means that we need to continue experimenting right let's do it 
two nine zero okay let's do it three one zero nice let's do it three four zero okay let's do it three three five sweet it looks quite at par i like it this way i don't know about you but i think it's good okay so i'm gonna put everything in the group and i'm gonna call it contact okay maybe chairs maybe let's bring the every nails console down here a little bit and i think this is great guys what do you think okay so let's bring back our rules and then let's go here to rectangular tool and then let's just draw something like that okay something like that let's double click it and then remember the color blue that we used there was a particular color blue that we used that's zero four zero c two f right okay we'll duplicate it again click on your move tool move the duplicate version over here and then we'll double click it and give it the orange or the yellow color that we are using which is e a eight three zero e all right so now this is it now you want to also zoom in because what we are about to do is going to shock you <laughs> all right so um let me see click on contact all right now so you can see contact now like this right i'm going to pull this all over to the middle here nice to see it Control h to bring the lines now you can see the line over here great now i'm going to click over here and then Control t and then make sure that it is in the middle like this you see nice click over here as well Control t make sure it is where in the middle like that that means that you are doing the right thing but then we need to make sure that the space are also quite better so let's pull this one here and then this one let's pull it quite closer as well you want the spacing over here to be the same the start spacing over here okay and even the spacing down here also needs to be almost the exact spacing above it all right so let's see um maybe just maybe let's bring the contact down a little bit just maybe right all right so this is great let's see um everyone else console guys i think we are done with it we are done with the design it's quite simple right now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel do not forget to comment down below as well let me know your thoughts and all the kind of stuff you want me to do for you guys and then guys remember my psd files are for sale kindly check the description you find them there and also if you're interested in um, having a you know some graphic design course just to um know a little bit better about graphic design and how to design and stuff like that i also have the course as well that might assist you so kindly check the description as well i love you all see you in the next tutorial peace